The COVID-19 pandemic amplified existing pressures and strains on global health systems and revealed inadequacies in mental health management. But it also fostered higher levels of executive awareness and involvement in improving access to healthcare and protecting worker health and well-being. However, with healthcare systems facing staff burnout and constant shortages, and with the return of complacency regarding pandemic prevention measures, worker and individual safety could be compromised. Climate change and nature loss events also impact health and well-being. Such events include exposure to heat waves, air pollution, waterborne diseases and malnutrition. Any of these could increase the likelihood of more frequent and widespread infectious disease outbreaks. We've all experienced the heavy toll that crises such as the COVID-19 pandemic can have on human life, livelihood, productivity and medical care spend. And we've seen how geopolitical tensions and state-level polarization can affect global and national infectious disease outbreak responses. Governments and businesses have an opportunity to improve the social determinants of health, as well as health behaviors, which will bolster the resilience of individuals, societies and health systems. This can be accomplished by shifting our focus to changing the environments that people work and live in, and by improving the availability of the supports they truly need. Through joint action on healthcare innovations, policies and other interventions, we can provide cleaner air and water, more secure housing, better access to healthy food and green spaces, good work and living wages, and improved social inclusion and protection. Building effective long-term resilience in the face of interdependent and rapidly evolving risks remains the most important challenge for businesses and their senior leaders, board members, risk professionals and many others. I encourage you to use this year's Global Risks Report as a reference point as you reassess and recalibrate your approach to managing today's crises, emerging threats and risk opportunities.